Good morning everybody and welcome to Star Mountain Hikes. I'm John and today we're in the Samuel H. Boardman Scenic Corridor hiking the Indian Sands Trail. Come on and join me. So far we're hiking through a forest of Sitka Spruce, Salal, and Sword Fern. Okay, the trail's now intersecting with the Coast Trail. And I think that we want to go this way. Interesting landscape here. We've got uh, sand and little rock outcrops and a view of the ocean. Some shore pines and alders very interesting such a beautiful day on the Oregon coast you can see the fog bank out there the ocean in front of you the Sun's coming up magnificent I just came out of a little clump of forest and then got this view my goodness this is beautiful all right looks like the trails heading down this is amazing, there are sand dunes on the edge of a cliff. Never seen this kind of landscape before. Climbing up this dune right here. I'm a little right now, hiking through, and it's just like a wind tunnel. Look at this. You see, there's a mountain there, and a mountain there, and boy, it's windy right here. Look at this view, though. Cool little section of trail. Okay, I came back to a trail junction right here. And it looks like one heads up the hill back to the trailhead. I can even see the guardrail for the trailhead up through the trees there. And then there's another section of trail that comes down here across this culvert and then heads back towards the coast. And that's where I'm going. I gotta find a breakfast spot. Nice level trail through the Sitka spruce and the evergreen huckleberries through here. Very beautiful. And you can just hear the ocean down there I'm loving this hike. I'm standing on top of a rock looking out through the trees at this view right now. It's just spectacular. All the rocks out in the water and the ocean waves crashing in. I'm loving this hike. Truly, this is, this is beautiful. The trail switched back right where I stood on the rock there. And now it seems like it's just heading back to the parking lot. We'll see where it goes from here. Okay, I'm back to the highway. There's a post for the coast trail here. But the trail keeps going away from the trailhead. All right, it looks like we're just following the, the highway, Highway 101, towards the Thomas Creek Bridge. So I may go far as far as that and turn around there. You're cute. Oh, you dropped your cone. I'm sorry I made you drop the cone. Am I agitating you? You're pretty cute. So I've been traversing this hillside for a while, just looking at this awesome beach down there through the trees. It's just beautiful, and we're getting closer to it. I'm wondering if there's a way to get down to it. I did not realize that. We are at the Thomas Creek Bridge now. I believe this is the highest bridge in Oregon at about 300 feet. So I'm now at the end of the trail and I'm out on a point above a beautiful wide beach that I can't even get down to without climbing gear. But it's just beautiful. And I can see 
Indian sands down that way where I hiked just a little earlier and I think this was part of the coastal trail and just kind of a side trail that went out to this point really beautiful all right folks I've really enjoyed this breakfast spot but I think it's time to start meandering back hope you've enjoyed this hike too let's see what else we can find on down the trail Just a dark thicket through the forest here. Still beautiful in its own way though. Okay, so I'm back to that little culvert crossing here. I came from this way and I'm gonna go up this way and I believe it's gonna lead me back to the parking lot. Let's find out. And somehow, I came out of the trees and back to the trailhead <laughs> right there where my truck is parked waiting for me. To get to the trailhead, follow Highway 101 north from Brookings, Oregon 8.7 miles to Indian Sands Trailhead. Head south from the trailhead until you reach the Oregon Coast Trail. Take a right, and the trail drops down into the sand dunes and good views, and there's even some side trails that you can explore. But keep heading north until you go through a saddle, and then the trail heads sharply right until you reach another junction, and then head left at that junction and follow the Oregon Coast Trail all the way out to a point where you'll get good views of the beach below. From there, continue back the way you came until you reach the junction, and there you can head back to the trailhead. The Indian Sands and Oregon Coast Trail. The distance was two miles, and it's just a guess. Difficulty moderate, activities hiking, photography, birds and wildlife viewing. Enjoyment rating, five stars. It's in the Samuel H. Boardman Scenic Corridor of the Oregon State Park System, please contact the website for more information.